All right, guys, today we're going to be going over and setting up our membership plugin. And basically, when you log into your blog, your dashboard is going to look like this. Uh, and we're going to scroll down to S2 member, our membership plugin, and click on general options. And basically, this is really self explanatory. Um, one of the things that you do want to do first that I forgot about is to set up a page. So we're going to click add new and we're just going to set up a membership options page you don't have to title it this if you don't want to but for the sake of ease we will and we're going to publish that page without any content on it for now we'll come back and put content on it later um, but you can see the reason why we set this page up is because it says that the security restrictions will not be enforced until you've configured a membership options page okay so this is our membership options page right here and we're going to go back to our S2 member general options. And we're just going to go through the list. Okay, so deactivation safeguards, it's automatically set for yes, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, one of the things you will want to do is generate a security encryption key. And all you got to do is click auto generate, it'll generate it for you. You don't have to worry about memorizing it or writing it down or copy and pasting it anywhere or anything like that. Uh, your local host, you don't need to worry about this. Um, your S2 member security badge, I would definitely include this on your site. It's going to boost the credibility of your blog and of your membership site. And we'll just keep scrolling down here. Uh, you can set up the way that your emails are sent out. Um, and we can, you know, we might focus on this a little bit later, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, open registration. Now, one of the great things about the S2 member plugin is that you can actually create a free mem or a, a paid membership site. You can create a free membership site, which is what we're going to do, but you can easily integrate this with PayPal and charge people money for the content that you're going to be providing on the site. And this is especially true when you get into the niches, you know, I mean, if you get into a, you know, a sub niche where you've got a lot of people who are interested in it and they just want to be a part of the community and uh, you know, want to share ideas and they want to share content or plug in the content that you have available, uh, you can easily charge for it. Now, for the network marketing industry, we're going to be giving away free stuff so we can get people to sign up for our opportunity. Um, so you can, you know, put the paid option in there or you can put a free membership site up and then have paid options within the membership site. Um, and as a matter of fact, we're going to go. I'm going to be making videos from now through eternity, guys. So we'll come back, and if you want to make a paid membership site, we'll probably have a, a video tutorial on that as well because I really enjoy making these videos. And, uh, you know, I've worked with WordPress a lot. I've worked with this plugin a lot, and I understand it. Um, I understand how to get traffic online. So I want to share that knowledge with you because uh, it's just one of the ways that you can build your MLM business. Now, what I don't want you to do is focus on just spending. Uh, time on the internet and not you know doing any of the offline integration strategies that we teach on our team especially because I think building from a grassroots level and building online is the best way to do it and there are a lot of ways that you can build offline and integrate it with your online approach so um, we'll go through all that stuff as well but I would definitely um, you know focus on Working for an hour a day uh, at the most on your internet presence, you don't want to burn out, you don't want to be on the internet all the time. For one, it's not good for you. Um, I've noticed that, you know, one of the reasons why I got fat was because I went full time into network marketing six years ago. And when I did, all I did was sit around on my butt on the computer. And I'm trying to pull myself away from doing that and realizing, man, you know, I don't have to spend quite as much time. It's addictive. You know, it's a, it definitely is a problem. So, uh, you don't want to spend more than an hour or two at the most a day online. Uh, you know, spend time with the people that mean the most to you. That's what this is all about. Uh, I have all day during the day. I don't have to go to a dead end job, job. So um, I might be able to spend a little bit more time. But I'm convinced that sitting behind a computer is not a good thing. I don't think it's good for your eyes. I don't think it's good for your brain. I don't think it's good for a human being at all to sit behind a computer all day. So, uh it is a tool that we can use to build our business. And the great thing about it, I always say this, but it's true, is that since the internet is digital, the information and the content that you put up on the internet is gonna be there forever. You know, it's not ever gonna go anywhere. It's never going away. So 
uh, take advantage of that and just work an hour a day. And, you know, after working an hour a day for 365 days at the end of the year, you're going to have a pretty darn good presence online. <laughs> so, um, and as you can see, all the stuff we're doing isn't taking that much time at all. So take a day to set up your membership site. Follow the videos as they're laid out. Do what I do every day. And here in about a week and a half, you're going to have a, a pretty kick butt side. I mean, you can obviously do it all at once and be done in an hour and a half or two hours. But, you know, why not take it over the over the week and uh, just enjoy life and chill and not get too overwhelmed by anything. Uh, so your open registration, we are going to allow an open registration at level zero. Our membership levels and labels, um, you can have different memberships. You can have a free level then you could have a bronze level, a silver level, and a gold level. We're going to simplify it for this first membership site we're going to create. We're going to simplify everything, and we're just going to have a free level. Okay, We're just going to have uh, the ability for people to sign up for free. Uh, your login registration design. Now, this is completely customizable, and uh, you can create a logo, or you can create a banner to put at the top of this, and we'll just look at what it looks like now and you can see that the s2 member plugin label or logo is up here uh, i just got a new computer so i don't have my logo design studio on this computer uh, but making a logo is very very simple and uh, there's nothing complicated at all about it there are plenty of, of free logo design makers out there there are also uh, laughing bird has a great logo design studio several of them as a matter of fact uh, so you would just create a banner and set your width and set your height and uh, this is what your sign up page is going to look like. Okay, so you can replace this if you want to. And you can even see that uh, you can set the parameters. You, you can set everything about this. Look at all this stuff you can upload. You can upload your logo. You can set the width. You can set the height. You can set the background image. Um, you can do whatever you want on your registration page. Okay, uh, your registration profile fields. Now, this is really important. Okay, um, if you're not making this for your team, where you're going to have a plugin that's going to allow it to have an affiliate type link, which we're not going to do on this one, uh, there is a great plugin out there, and I'm going to go over that with you in a future video. Uh, but since this is going to be our own personal training site, uh, we're going to get people into our business from this site. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a phone number field. So we're going to add new field. And is this field, does it start a new section? No, it doesn't. Uh, single line text, since we're just asking for the phone. And we'll put phone here and then phone. And then is it required? No, we'll make it optional. And then you could put a default text value here if you wanted and all that good stuff. But we're going to go ahead and create that registration field. Okay, so now in our registration form, if we go back to our registration form here, uh, the phone should have showed up there. Hold on just a second. Let's see what's going on. Oh, I haven't saved the changes yet. Okay, we'll save it now. Okay. Now let's look at it and make sure our phone field. There we go. Um, so, and you can also drag and drop these labels to where you want them to be. Obviously, you don't want the phone number to be down at the bottom, but it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. Okay, we're going to take it up. Actually, you can only do that on all the form fields that you create. So we don't have the ability to go above the regular form, which is fine. Um, but if you were to create multiple form fields here, then you could organize them with these little arrows right here. But you can't do it just by with, with the default WordPress that's already there. Uh, your login welcome page. Now, we haven't created our login welcome page yet. Uh, that's something that we're going to do in our next video. Um, our membership options page is going to be membership options. 
and member profile modifications. Uh, basically, you don't need to worry about this with the site that we're setting up. Um, and everything's done, okay? So everything's pretty much set up now. In the next video, we're going to be making a welcome page for our new members. That's the first thing we're going to do. Uh, we're not going to create all the content on it right away, but we're going to make the page and we're going to make an intro and a welcome and kind of start to plan out the layout of our site. You know, what is our site going to be about once we get members? What's going to be in the membership area? Because that's going to be really the most important part of the site when it comes to your credibility and people actually wanting to join you in your business. You don't want to have people log in and it to just be a big promotion about your online opportunity or your network marketing opportunity or whatever it is. Uh, you want it to be something that really provides value to people and kind of put your opportunity over to the side, you know, where it's not everywhere in people's face and people are going to want to work with you if you know what you're doing. Okay, they're going to get a hold of you. They're going to find out what you're in or what you're involved in. And if you set up your membership site correctly, they're going to want to do business with you and figure out how to get a hold of you themselves. You know, put your contact information on there. Uh, we're going to go through all that. But this is pretty much done as far as setting up the membership modules in the portal. Uh, it's done. Um, so there's not a lot left that we have to do. Um, and we'll go through and set everything up in, in the next videos. Like I said, the very next video, we're going to be setting up a welcome page. Um, so look forward to that. And then in the future videos, we're going to just get this site rocking and rolling and see what happens. So uh, thanks anyway, guys, for taking the time to watch. And I'll definitely be seeing you in the next video. God bless.